Hey, good morning, girls. It's Monday morning, and um, the word for the day is called grace. And so, you know, I told you about the 444 thing, and, you know, God just keeps showing me that all the time. So a friend of mine named Rod uh, loaned me his Passion Bible. I got to give it back on Wednesday, but I opened it up to page 444. I, I deliberately did that. But the Lord laid my eyes on 1 Corinthians 2. And it starts out the wisdom of God. And I'm going to read a little bit. It says, however, there is a wisdom that we are continually speak, that we continually speak of when we are among the spiritually mature. It's wisdom that didn't originate in this present age, nor did it come from the rulers of this age who are in the process of being dethroned. So there's a wisdom of God that, um, well, let me start by saying, you know, have you ever, when you have a secret, um, I have entrusted to uh, people that I really didn't know very well um, a secret, and it's backfired. Do you ever, ever do that? <laughs> you know, I'll tell somebody something, and I don't know them very well, and, you know, so, and so then it's backfired. Like, they go and tell somebody else, and they re they divulge, you know, what I've told them, and so I, I, should, have I should not have trusted them not knowing and but to the people there are you know friends that God has given me that I can entrust secrets to and this is how God is to us he entrusts us with his secrets you know and so that's what and the secret is two things one is wisdom and what is wisdom what is he trying to tell us and I think that's grace you know it's sort of like um it's that little secret thing that why doesn't God give grace to the unrighteous? You know, because they they would they would abuse it. You know, if they did stuff wrong and they always had grace, I think they would abuse it. And so He gives it to just uh just His own people, and it's a secret. But you know, we're supposed to bring those into the fold. But anyway, and so that they can enjoy that wisdom, right? And it says, this is the wisdom, this things never discovered or heard of before, things beyond our ability to imagine. These are the things God has in store for all his lovers. Isn't that great? I, you know, I just love the Lord. And so, um, anyway, come with me on a little path here that I came to. And that is, God was trying to tell me um, about... Uh, one ingredient, you know, he only has one ingredient. When they say God is love, you know, um, I have this thing. It's, <laughs> I don't know. God just led me to this. Uh, and so, you know, do you ever get on a path? You know, you when you go on a trail, he takes me on these trails. And so the trail was, it started with nail polish remover because I was looking for something that had only one ingredient because I know God has only one ingredient. It's love. He has, he's pure, and his, that pure ingredient is just love, and it's like this acetone. You ever look at an ingredient of something, and it has like ingredient, acetone, <laughs> there's just nothing else, you know? So, I get on my little Google thing, and on my phone, I look up acetone, and funny, this thing says, women owned. <laughs> Whatever company this is, owned by women, I thought it was kind of funny, too, that I would use this as an example. But anyway, so um, the Lord led me to acetone and to tell me, and if you look it up, acetone, I got all these notes here. Um, there's acetone that we use for nail polish remover, and it's used in other things in plastics and stuff. But guess what? Our body has acetone. And if we, and it produces acetone, and the acetone produces a, a thing called ketosis, which through metabolism, our metabolism breaks down fat. So acetone's a good thing. Acetone is great because it takes off my nail polish, but believe it or not, our body has acetone. I never knew this. And so, um, so you know, he's leading me to this thing about carbs, you know, and this ketosis diet. It's all about carbs and low carbs, like 30 to 50 carbs a day. And so it says, um, if you stick to this, it, it enhances cognitive function, gives you more energy, 
energy, decreases pain and inflammation, gives you fat loss, loss of appetite, and improve exercise. Versus, you ready for this? Epilepsy, diabetes, high blood pressure, Alzheimer's, Parkinson's, inflammation, high blood sugar, obesity, liver disease, cancer, and migraines. <laughs> Lord have mercy. You know, so we need grace, right? I do. I need grace out every day, every day. You know, I need the grace of God. Get me through the day to do the right thing. And, you know, I also need grace for, um, you know, so many of us um, are maybe living with people, you know, with our spouses or our kids, whatever, you know, that uh, maybe not nice, you know, that maybe come under, they attack us from, because the devil is just wants to destroy families, right? And so many families are being destroyed within, you know, because the kids and the spouses and whatever, you know, and relatives and stuff that, um, and, and we're all, you know, you think our country's fighting, you know, we need to start and looking at our homes, you know, they're so, it's so sad. And so when I think of grace, um, and I'm back to grace again, and when I think of grace, you know, grace is something that he gives us, but we need to know how to give it back. We need to know how when somebody, how not to take offense, you know, because what if Jesus took offense at everybody that hated him? He didn't, you know, I mean, he was this kind of lanky, not good looking kid down the street, you know, and like I said, he came a sinful man and nobody understood who he was. So they hated him, you know, and they killed him and they, they didn't just kill him, right? They destroyed his body. And so, I mean, the, the hate was so bad. And yet, he had grace, you know, he had love. And so, I think for us to mend our families, it's like the Lord has been sharing with me that sometimes we don't want to be around somebody that's offending because we don't want to get hurt. But that's what we need to tackle. We need to change our heart. We need to just, you know, call upon the Lord and, and just pull that. You know how you have like a worry stone in your pocket? Or you know how you reach in your pocket, maybe find a dollar bill. Kind of reach in to that secret place in our minds, you know, and, and, and let the Lord pull out that grace because we're the ones, you know, that need to change, not them. Not, we can't count on They may change. God may change their heart and turn them even today, you know, but we can't count on that. And so yet we love these people. We love our families and our, you know, and our neighbors and our spouses and whatever. And we don't want to be divided, you know, but, but we're always afraid that if we uh, confront the situation that we'll be rejected and hurt. So this is what the overcoming, this is what grace is about. You know, we need to accept the grace of God, but be able to, put, you know, put it out there and see, you know, I, I asked the Lord, I said, let me see these people as you see them. Let me love them like you love them. We don't have that physical, we don't have that ability in our human minds and thoughts, you know, to do that, even with our own families, you know, because we're human, right? You know, and so we take offense, they say something and we take offense and then we get angry and we're afraid to confront because we don't want to get hurt again, you know, and we don't want to take offense again and we're trying to get over it and whatever. But we need to show the grace of God to those people even more so. You know, I want to be like Jesus. <laughs> Lord, help us all, you know. But let me tell you one more thing. And that is, we can't be too hard on ourselves. You know, we, we're human. We're going to make mistakes, and that's what God's all about. So, Lord, I just pray that you will help us on a day-by-day. -day. Let us seek you on an hour-by-hour, minute-by-minute, you know, basis, that, um, that we can walk in your grace, Lord, and that we can show others. And let us love them like you love them, Lord. Give us a heart that's your heart. Give us a mind that's your mind, Lord. And help us to... Um, be healers, you know, to he to mend the wounds because everybody's wounded, including us. And so, Lord, you know, we 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 need to be the healers too. So, um, help us to spread the grace, spread your grace, you know, and not in our own. Uh, we know that we can't do it on our own, but we need your help. And so, as we get up each morning, 
And we trust in you for our day because you already know how that day's going to go. We trust in you that you're going to help us and you're going to give us the, just the right amount of grace that we need to confront and to, um, to love these people that uh, may come before us, Lord, and that are hurting, Lord, and help us to be um, just kind and thoughtful and to see them through your eyes. And I pray all this in Jesus' name. And you know, be, be easy on yourself today. God loves you, and Jesus loves you, and I love you too. See you later. Bye.